Hey everyone, it's Coach Monica Ward here and I'm working from my bedroom today. Here, I'll give you a little glimpse of my oh, bed. But I have so many emails to answer and there's so much I wanna do. Everybody went out to go play for summer and the boys are gone. They went skateboarding and wakeboarding and who knows what else. I'm here, I have a lot of emails to answer and a lot of people who are getting ready to gear up for July 5th which is Monday, where we're gonna do a round together that involves documenting everything. So perhaps you could consider being part of the 21 Day Fix Extreme infomercial. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am one of the original Beachbody coaches. I've been a coach for 13 years, and I started, and I started Beachbody coaching with um, about 20 other coaches we were we were not um, paid coaches or anything at that time we were running challenge groups and really we were just peers who were helping peers but now they um, created a, a avenue for us about eight and a half years ago to be formal coaches and and a distribution channel for us. So we could be in charge of marketing and distributing the products for you, which is how a lot of you ended up getting in this group. And so I have the distinct pleasure of being coach of a lot of people, as well as um, people who have decided to come and coach with me. <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys today is um, I guess I just want you to know that I care about your success a lot and um, I wanted to share with you guys that you know it's it's really hard when you don't feel so good about yourself first of all know in your heart just know and believe you in your heart know this you have workouts and containers and a food list that is guaranteed to give you the success that you need. You just have to prepare and plan for success. And you have to decide what is most important to you. It isn't allowing yourself to have a little bit of a cheat on 4th of July weekend. If you're determined to get to your goals fast, the fastest way possible, okay? Like when I committed to my first Beachbody program, I went full throttle worked out every day i ate right every day i un, you know luckily didn't have to like give up wine or any of those kinds of things because i was breastfeeding my son so i was what well, those things weren't even on my mind at the time however those are like the regular life things and challenges that i face now and so i want to remind you however to have a positive mental attitude. I keep reading over and over and over in people's initial emails to me, I hope this works. And I want to tell you, this will work if you work it. This isn't like something that you just buy the product and then you know, it's gonna magically let your body transform into the body of your dreams. You have to consistently make the right decisions you have to have the right food in your pantry, in your refrigerator. You have to decide what to eat at every single meal that sticks to the containers. You have to pick a time to work out and you have to actually push play and get it done. And all of those things over time will compound into a successful outcome. I can tell you this, it took me way more than one round of the 21 day fix to get to the results that I wanted to get to. And uh, I, my first Beachbody program was actually a 90 day program. So I wasn't even thinking about the finish line for three months, right? And even when I hit that finish line, even though I blew my mind with the results and the way my body could change, especially having been pregnant, just three months prior to starting that program and still having a, a six month old baby in my arms, I started my workout program when my baby was three months. Now my baby's 13. Um, I still was 
going to continue on. I mean, just when you hit the finish line, you ideally want to incorporate health and fitness into your life forever. But, you know, things get in the way. Your, your motivation can vary, and that's why you try really hard to structure yourself for success. And the best thing you can do is have a positive mental attitude. One of the ways that I have a positive mental attitude is I read and listen to things. I like to call it, it's called personal development. They encourage us as coaches to do that because we have to talk to so many people who are starting out on their journey, who have a lot of self-doubt. And so we kind of have to fill our cup up with all the good the good stuff so that we can turn around and gift what our good vibes, our positive energy, our joy, our happiness towards you guys. But you know, I still have days that things can get in the way and that's why a daily dose of personal development, a daily dose of an attitude adjustment is just the right thing. Just like you would drink your Shakeology every day, just like you're going to eat your containers every day, just like you're going to push play on your workouts every day, well, you're going to do the same thing for your mind and your heart. I would like you to know it's very hot here in Southern California, and I know you guys are probably from all over parts of the United States and Canada, but I am particularly hot right now, and I really wanted to go with the boys and jump in the ocean and jump in the pool, but, you know, I'm here, and I'm going to commit to all of you to finish my emails and answer um, questions but I want you guys to start with a positive mental attitude you know there's that concept of being a giver and a taker and think to yourself strive to be a giver and the fun part about that or the blessing that comes with being a giver is that you start receiving I mean don't give ideally with the expectation of any thing in return or don't try to predict the outcome because what ends up happening is when you are in a giving state, things come to you, but they never come necessarily in the form you expect them. Say you're nice to person A. Well, person A doesn't acknowledge that you gave your time to them, your love to them, your positive energy to them. But let me tell you, the funny thing is person B out of left field is going to do something awesome for you. Again, don't expect person B to be doing those things. Just recognize that when you put it out there when you are positive and energetic and available and open and kind and and optimistic those kinds of th those kinds of feelings are in and actions are infectious and you're going to start to surround yourself with people that feel the same way as you do that are very much in alignment with the way that you are feeling at the moment so choose to feel optimistic choose to be excited about this program believe in yourself we believe in you give to this group give to this group and receive from this group give us share us you know what's on your plate uh let us see your selfie your sweaty selfie remember this group is about all of us and you never know how your post is going to motivate somebody else to take action to make a good decision in their program. And think about that. Think about what can I give to this group in a positive way and you will start to feel amazing just giving to the group, okay? That's all I have to say right now. Welcome to the group. I'm about to do a little Welcome Wednesday for some of the new people that I'll be adding to the group. So I wanted you to know who leads this group. I'm Coach Monica Ward. Super excited to know you and get to know you better. I love to write privately through Facebook messages. If you would like to drop me a note and introduce yourself and get to know me better, I'm very excited. I've also... Um, I always friend request people, so if you happen to catch my friend request, please, by all means, uh, friend me back. Or, or if I, we don't have a friend request, friend me and send me a message, and I'll check my others folder and make sure that we're all in the fixed group together. Looking forward to working with you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.